Good morning, everyone. Um, man, let me tell you. Early this morning, like around like 4.35, Otis was whining so much. And I thought it was because he wanted to get out from like the little area that I had him like by my bedroom door. We put up a baby gate. Um, and usually he sleeps in the living room, but he's been sleeping on the couch and he knows he's not supposed to be sleeping on the couch. So I had him, um, in between the baby gate and my bedroom door. So he just kept whining and whining and, um, he was trying to get out in like a couple times. So I like went out there and like, you know, how to tell him no and that he had to lay down. And I had the chancla too. I was like, buddy, <laughs> I need my sleep. I need you to go to sleep. <laughs> so that wasn't working. Like he was whining for like a good hour. And so I find like finally I like go out there and I'm like, Otis, like go to sleep. I went out there like two or three times. Turns out he had a tummy ache. And there was poop all over the floor on his bed. And I like felt the first thing that I like came to my head was like, I felt so bad for yelling at him and like giving him the chancla. So yeah, there was poop everywhere. And guess who had to clean it up? Me. <laughs> so I cleaned it and I had to put his, but thankfully his bed is super easy to clean up. Um, you just remove the cover, throw in the wash. I stayed up till about like seven. So this happened like five. Yeah, and then I stayed up till like about seven, seven thirty. I was just so tired and I literally just woke up. I never wake up this late. It's like ten thirty. And he's ready to play. He's feeling better. I don't really have much planned for today other than clean up the house. It's pretty much it. I mean, it's raining outside, so I can't really do much. And I just really don't feel like doing a lot today. <gasps> okay. Don't mind the laundry. I need to put that away. But I'm gonna make myself a cup of coffee a cup of decaf coffee. I got this super cute cup from my really good friend, Jessie, and she got it from the Daily Grace company. It's an online website and they have Christian um, books and devotionals. I highly recommend it. Uh, they just have so much on their website and they're constantly having sales, but she got it from that website and I think it's so cute. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. And I love it. still making my coffee I like to clean a little bit while I'm making my coffee because I only have a coffee press right now so it can kind of take a little while I'm gonna make an iced coffee today just to kind of wake me up a little bit 
and I actually learned the whole freezer trick from Nicole Guerrero. She's this influencer that I follow. I'm trying to decide what I want for breakfast. I'm starving, but I don't know what I want. I'm thinking about making some waffles. Do I want waffles? Hmm. Yes, I think I'm gonna make myself some waffles. Okay, so for my iced coffee, I'm going to froth up my creamer and I'm gonna add a little bit of some oat milk to it. So I'll show you guys. Okay, but that iced coffee really hit the spot. <laughs> it is so yummy. Look at this waffle. It's like the tiniest little waffle ever. I'm craving Nutella, so I'm gonna have some Nutella. And I'm only putting a little bit because it has a lot of sugar. And of course, gotta add my agave. I don't really like syrup. Um, ever since I discovered that you can use agave as a substitute, I've stuck to it. I really like it. And it's an all natural sweetener, so. Still has a lot of sugar in it, but I mean, I feel like it's not syrup. <laughs> and I feel like syrup has more sugar, so it'll do for now. Let's see. Mm. This is great. I just finished my waffles. I am still working on my coffee. This was so good. I think I'm gonna start making these every day rather than drinking hot coffee. I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm just like, I feel delusional almost. Like I'm ready to just go back to bed and pass out. You know what? Who knows how much sleep I'm gonna get once the baby is here. So I might as well, right? I think I'm gonna go back to bed for like another hour or so because I I need I need to sleep. I'm really tired. So once I wake up, I'll get to cleaning. Just the sound of cleaning right now makes me physically exhausted. I am up. Um, I've been up for about like an hour and a half already. So it is time to clean so I'm gonna clean up and then I'm gonna probably take a shower and I'm thinking about going to PetSmart and getting Otis some pumpkin because his tummy is still feeling a little sick he just went outside and he still has the run so probably gonna go do that anyways let's get to cleaning because this house is disgusting
I wanted to pause real quick and share with you guys this mommy life hack that I got from TikTok. I can't remember who I saw it from. I thought it was genius. So if you have a nightstand, I highly, highly, highly suggest this idea because I thought it was genius. So basically you have your pump, you have your um, baby diaper, your um, baby's diapers, burping, uh, burping cloths, um, and just a bunch of extra little essentials in here. And basically you keep it right next to your bed. So in the middle of the night, you can just reach over to your nightstand and you can reach over for whatever, whatever it is that you might need in the middle of the night. That way you don't have to get up, like go over to the changing station or if you do have one, I personally don't have one because we don't have a lot of room in our, in our bedroom. But um, I just thought it was a really cool idea. So I wanted to share with you guys. And if you don't have a nightstand, you can always keep like a little basket right next to your bed or one of those, um, one of those carts. Hopefully it helps and it works, <laughs> but anything that is going to make things easier for me, then I'm willing to give it a try. I also wanted to show you guys our baby's bassinet. I don't know if I shared this already in any of my vlogs, but here's his bassinet. It's so cute. Um, it's from Nestig. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's not like your standard size bassinet. If I'm not mistaken, I think they have like their own, own sized um, bassinets. But the really cool thing about this bassinet is that it's actually a three-in-one so it starts off as a bassinet and then and then it can turn into a crib and then it can turn into a toddler's bed so it's basically yeah three-in-one it was a little bit more on the pricier side I think it want I want to say it was like 600 but if you think about it I mean that's technically what you're gonna be spending on on a bassinet crib and a toddler's bed in the future so you might as well just splurge all at once and get it over with. <laughs> I actually got it as a gift from my mother-in-law and my grandma. They they pitched in for it, so I'm I'm super grateful for that. Yeah, it was on my registry, but I found it on Pinterest. If I can, I'll try to link it down below. That way you guys can check it out. I'm really excited and I really, really hope that he likes it and is able to sleep in it comfortably. Yeah, so back to cleaning. casita is all nice and clean <sighs> it smells so good up in this house okay washing the sheets still have to make my bed so don't mind that I have to put clothes away but I'll do that later <laughs> and then my little bathroom is nice and clean. I need to add so much to this bathroom. I feel like it's just empty. Okay, so I, I'm done cleaning. I was gonna take a shower, but my mom is off of work in about an hour and she's gonna be coming over for some dinner. Um, so I am making a very, very basic caldo de pollo. So I'm gonna teach y'all how I make my caldo de pollo. I have my vegetables um, soaking in this fruit and vegetable wash that I got from Sprouts. Okay, so veggies are all washed. Um, next, we are gonna open up these boneless chicken breasts that I got from Winco, and we're gonna slice them into cubes. I'm only gonna use three chicken breasts because it's just gonna be me and my mom. The chicken breasts that I'm not gonna use, I'm gonna put in a Ziploc bag. 
can probably use another day. And I'm just going to cut off the fat on the chicken breast. Usually you're supposed to make out of the foil with bone in, but I got it, I got just regular chicken breast because I wanted to make something else later in the week. We're gonna slice these babies up into cubes. Okay, so I have my chicken cut up into cubes Next we're, we're gonna chop up the veggies. And I already have my water boiling over here. I put about three quarts, depending on the size of your party, you might need to add more. The veggies that I'm gonna cut up are cilantro, two zucchinis, a potato, and I got mini carrots. You can use whole carrots if you'd like, um, but I just got the baby carrots and I used half a bag. I'm not gonna cut it up into pieces. I'm actually just gonna use maybe like this much and throw it in the boiling water just to give it some flavor. I changed my mind. I think I'm gonna chop some up and leave it in the soup. Okay, so I'm gonna be putting some chicken bouillon in the boiling water, clearly. I need more. One tablespoon per quart. I'm gonna add a little bit extra just because I want it to have more flavor. So the water is boiling and I'm gonna add about this much of an onion into the boiling water. And the cilantro that we chopped up, I'm gonna add in there too. So far, this is what it looks like. And we're just gonna stir it up. Okay, before I add the chicken, I'm gonna chop up the zucchini and the potatoes. Little pieces like this. All right, zucchinis are chopped. Now I'm gonna chop up the potatoes. Okay, so before we start slicing up the potatoes, I'm gonna throw in the chicken real quick. Okay, so I just threw the chicken in the water. You want it to go into a rapid boil, and then once it goes into a rapid boil, you wanna turn it down to about like um, between like low medium heat cover it up and let it cook for um, 20 minutes Okay, so I set the timer for 10 minutes and then I'm gonna add the veggies and then set the timer for another 10 minutes but while that's cooking I'm gonna throw my stuff in the dryer and fold my towels but this day just has been non-stop I've just been cleaning all day and cooking okay so the timer just went off and I added the veggies so I just checked on the soup and the veggies weren't cooked yet so I'm gonna leave it on for a little longer um, I'm probably gonna leave it on for like maybe another, I'll check on it in like five minutes, but I have it on medium heat right now. Um, the chicken is cooked though, for sure. Um, so yeah, I'm exhausted. <laughs> My feet hurt so bad. And I'm just, I'm just so tired. Let me tell you, the third trimester takes all of your energy. I 
never felt so tired up until this point. All right, everyone. So this is the turnout of my caldo de pollo. And then I'm just gonna top it with some limon. I can't do it with one hand. <laughs> and some Valentina and mozzarella cheese. And I made myself a little quesadilla to have with it too. Um, but I cooked it for a total of 45 minutes. So what I did was I let the chicken cook for 20 minutes on um, between like high and medium heat. And then I added the veggies for an additional 10 minutes and the veggies weren't cooked all the way. So then I put, I, I set the timer for another 10 minutes to make, make sure the veggies were all fully cooked. Um, but yeah, this is, this is the turnout. Yeah, so I cooked it for about 40 to 45 minutes and it came out really good. My mom came over and she had some and she approved. She really liked it herself. But before I go to bed, I am going to read this book that I got for Christmas. It's called Gospel-Centered Motherhood. I got it from a friend of mine from the Daily Grace Company. I like that it has, uh, they're very short, very short um, devotionals. And then they have a page where they ask you questions. I'm just gonna read my devotional and then watch some TV and probably go to sleep. Good night.